maybe not. Maybe not. She just took off. Maybe not. She knows where she's going. Good to see you. Alright, Jordan, one Oh gosh, I got all kinds of friends here. And y'all haven't got any older, but I have. <laughs> Baby doll and I, like I said over and over, are on the same dietary program now. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Man, uh, Governor, it's good to have you. Uh, Appreciate well, you being so here. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, thank, thank you so much. You let you fully explain something on the uh, amendment to why he is against it and why Raleigh County Commission also voted. Yeah, we are not for Amendment 2, and we appreciate you coming and explaining it to everyone why we are against it. Well, okay. You want me to go? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, here's the bottom line of the whole thing, the way I see it. And this is a little complicated, but, you know, I'm a business guy. I mean, my kind of living. You know, I'm, I'm the guy that wants all kinds of business to come. In state, out of state, and bigger, and all, uh, the better, and more opportunity, and all that. Well, why would I be against? Them? Well, here's the real straight skinny of the whole thing. Back in July, we got this incredible surplus, a billion three hundred eight million dollars, and you got gas prices racing, racing straight up, and you got grocery prices racing straight up, and our people hurting. And I said, okay through, you know, our Secretary of Revenue and all, you know, we had, to, we had to make sure we were within the requirements of, you know, uh, everybody, the American Rescue Act and all that, and, and said, we can do this. We can do a 10% tax cut tomorrow, and we can put $254 million right back into your hands tomorrow. I said, we'll call a special session, and this will get done just like that, because Republicans are in those super majorities, and Republicans, all Republicans are going to be in favor of a tax cut. So the House passed it in a day. And then all of a sudden it just stopped. And I said, what in the <coughs> world is going on? And then I kept trying to talk to them and everything else of the sun, and the deeper you dig, the more it stinks. <laughs> now just think about this. The reason they stopped it, they got to have all the money. They gotta have all the money. And what's all the money going for primarily? It's not going for your car tax. Are you complete crazy? You have been absolutely hoodwinked. That's all there is to it. Now you have. You have absolutely been tricked. And they were bragging about it. Now they, well, it's, it's fact. They went around everywhere saying, you know, if we put the car tax with Amendment 2, everybody will vote for it because they'll want rid of their car tax and they won't have any idea what we're, really do, what we're really doing. What they're really doing is this. It's all about the machinery and inventory tax, but more, more bad than that, this is about giant companies giving big money to the lobbyists to give the money to the legislatures to promise, you know, we'll back you in your gubernatorial campaign or we'll back you in whatever, or we'll put into your you know, political funds or whatever it may be. And then, you didn't have any idea. I didn't have any idea. I mean, really, they'd gone around for a year plus to county commissions and everybody in the world making all these ungodly promises. <clears throat> and what you're about to do is just this. You're about to give up local control and give it all to Charleston. And at that point in time, then what you're going to do is these great people, they're going to go every February and line up and beg for funding because you have no funding. You're going to give it up. You're going to give up a guaranteed income stream, and they're going to go beg. And then what happens? It even just, I'm, I'm going to boom, 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 boom. 
you know, it gets even one step more worse. You know, think about this. Who's going to win? The big giant companies are going to win. Dow Chemical and, and, you know, and big giant coal companies. Big giant companies are going to win. Walmart, Target, all these companies that are doing, baby dog's heard this a lot, so she's <laughs> But all these companies that are really doing pretty doggone good, okay? Now, let me just tell you just this, and this is, I, I'm not casting any stones, but you had 55 coal companies that took bankruptcy when things got really tough, and we wouldn't do it, and it was awful. I mean, it's been awful to this day. To this very day, it's been awful because it's been really tough. One of those companies wrote off like a billion, four hundred million dollars worth of debt. <coughs> well, who did they write off? The banks got stiffed, the vendors got stiffed, all kinds of people lost. They did. That company today is making almost a hundred million dollars a month. A month. And really and truly, the legislature is telling you, oh, y'all go suck an egg. We're going to give them a tax break, a giant tax break. Now, I'm going to tell you this to God above. It would mean millions of dollars to me. I guarantee it. I'll guarantee it. And I'm telling you, I didn't sign up for me. I mean, like it or not like it, and again, my dad would say, you know, it doesn't really matter, son. If you know and the good Lord knows, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And at the end of the day, really and truly, I do know, and I believe the good Lord knows with all in me, that really and truly I'm doing this for the right reasons. I'm doing this. I stepped up and said, I'm going to serve. I don't want anything. I don't want anything ever, you know. We don't have a whole lot of that going on in this country, and it could be really bad. But literally, at the end of the day, you know, today we just got this ass backwards. That's all there is to it. You know, what we should do is we should get rid of your car tax. And I've got a way to do that tomorrow. The car tax is now not even in Amendment 2. They like to still grab at it and say, yo, yo, no, wait a minute, it's still there. And that's bull feathers. You know, at the end of the day, the car tax is gone. Because absolutely, I've written a bill with our revenue department, and the bill will go up the first day they come into session. It would go up tomorrow if they would say we're ready, we'll take it and pass it. But when, it, when, when Amendment 2 blows up, and I hope to goodness above, to God above, it blows up. When it blows up, then up will go my bill. Okay? Now, they're not suicidal. They're not absolutely that. Up goes my bill that says, okay, we got to get rid of our car tax tomorrow. You're going to vote for it or not vote for it. There won't be one vote against that. There's no way. <clears throat> so your car tax is gone. So now, all you got to think about is one thing. Do we really want to give up local control to Charleston? Coach Pruitt said it the very best, and I've said it many times, and he said, he said, it's just this simple. Y'all give me all your wallets and give me all your money. And I'll be the, all the politicians and we'll promise we'll give it back. Now, if you buy into that, I can't help you. And then you say, well, why am I here? I'm here because now I know. And you know what else will happen? I guarantee to God above what will happen is just this. We'll have bumps in the road. And when we have bumps in the road, there won't be enough dollars to go around to do all the funding. And at that point in time, it will be right back to where we were when Jim walked in the door. Cut, 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 cut. I said just a minute ago, it's ass backwards, and this is why it's that way. You know, what we should do is get rid of the car tax. Give you that tomorrow. And then we ought to try to put some more money back in your pocket. More money. Okay, and we ought to start us on a pathway of getting rid of our personal income tax. Now, when we make that move, whether it be 10% or 20% in the beginning or whatever, it will send signals to the whole world, 
And any group, I don't care, any tax publication at all says the people will come then. You will start seeing growth. we got to have people. I mean, that's all there is to it. we got to have people. And then if we just breathe. So let's get rid of the car tax and start us on a pathway into personal income tax and breathe. And then if things are okay, then reach back and start whittling on this machinery and inventory tax. You see, I'm for getting rid of the taxes. That's not the problem. The problem is just this. If you do this all just what they want to do, and let's say the utilities qualified for the machinery and inventory reduction too, you're talking about seven or eight hundred million dollars. Well, you suck that all out of the revenue and then you have any bump in the road, they're not going to have the money to fund the county. They're not. Then what are you going to do? I promise you what you're going to do is just this. And you mark it down to God above this is what's going to happen. When we blow up, and I'll be gone. For crying out loud, you know, I can ride this wave to the end, cut every ribbon, and go to every parade and everything. And literally, if I, if I didn't even come here, probably most people line up at the parades and say, it's the greatest governor we've ever had. We walked in, we were bankrupt. He handled the pandemic. We diversified. We've got all these surpluses. We're cooking. Roads are being built everywhere. Greatest governor we ever had. But you see, again, that surely means something, but that doesn't mean everything to me. What means stuff to me is you, and it does. So, so with all that, I would just tell you that uh, you're behind the eight ball here. And let me give you a perfect example of just this. On Saturday evening about 5.30, I was going to go bow hunting. And... And so I'm, I'm in the woods, putting my camouflage on and everything. And the trooper that's with me, he says to me, he says, he said, let me tell you this. He said, I had a good friend of mine, and he said he went and did early voting. And, and I said, well, surely to goodness you didn't vote for the amendments, did you? And he said, oh, no, gosh, no. I didn't vote for the amendments, my God. Well, I voted for that one that got rid of my car tax. <laughs> think about it. You know, he's got kids and the schools and everything else. Who's this going to benefit? It's going to benefit the swamp. Basically, politicians taking something because they want something. They want something. And then it's going to benefit giant companies. The Dow Chemicals and the Walmarts and so on like that. Or that big giant coal company that I was telling you about. When is enough money to be made enough money to be made? You know, it's going to benefit Jim Justice. Who's it going to hurt? It's going to hurt our seniors. It's going to hurt the youth leagues. It's going to hurt the policemen, the firemen, the schools. That's who it's going to hurt. And then, and then the ultimate, the ultimate is this. What is going to happen when we don't have enough money to fund? Your taxes will go up. There's no way around it. Absolutely, you're probably you probably have your assessments, and you're probably taxed on 60% of your assessments. <coughs> they won't have anywhere to turn, but to say we're going to have to tax on 100% of assessment. Literally, this is nut land, and you've been deceived. You've been you you know so. In the net of the whole thing is just this. Here's what I see all over the place. You know, the Santa Claus deal. First you believe in Santa, then you don't. Before you know it, you are Santa. Think about that. Okay? Here's what I see all over the place. I see people that didn't know, and now they know, and they're mad. And the last thing I'll tell you is this, and I want you to really look real close, because this stool is really sturdy. I mean, it's got a load on it right now. And Baby Dog is thinking about chicken nuggets right now. <laughs> and I will tell you, to God above, I want you to remember this moment and this image forever. Because like I said, I'll be gone in not very long. And literally, absolutely, if you're not mad now, 
you prom I promise you with all my soul, you will be mad. You'll be really mad. Not kind of mad. You'll be really mad. Now, because at some point in time, everything will start blowing up. And you'll have people being hurt. And you'll think, why did we do that? Why in the world did we do that? And then if you think, well, we could just reverse it. Are you crazy? Are you completely crazy? Do you really believe if we pass term limits today that the legislatures, whether the Congress, would just turn on their own and vote to do a resolution so you could vote on it again, whether you wanted to do that or not? Once they get this, it's done. 90 years. 90 years is how long it's been the way it is. You know, I'm telling you, I know I'm right about this. I'm not kind of right. And I know it really stinks. So, with all that, I'll let y'all ask me anything you want or whatever. Or Baby Dog and I'll love you like we do every day. Governor, yeah. I'll say your, your message is clear and, and thank you time and the knowledge you put on for the sake of 55 it's a, it's, a, it's a big deal and the work you're putting in. We really do appreciate it. Well, uh, uh, I appreciate all of you. I really do. Well, we had Senator came in about a month ago and uh, urged us to vote yes. And I asked him straightforward. I said, look, what happens two or three years down the road when you do not have the surplus, what's going to happen? I said, are you going to raise taxes or whatever? He said, well, I can't tell you no, but it's a good possibility that it will happen if there, you know, there is not a surplus. Yeah, so sure. <laughs> the county commissioner, on, on behalf of Kay and, and Greg and myself, we urge the citizens to vote no for uh, Amendment 2 because we'll lose all control of the county functions. That's the sheriff's department. County clerk, circuit clerk, prosecutor attorney, uh, the firefighters, and so forth. So, vote no. That's all we can say. Yeah. Well, the news media needs to get this out. Early voting is taking place as we speak, and uh, people coming in and out. And of course, I can't say anything to them about how to vote, but it's going to be up to the news media to get the, the word out to the public what actually is in that amendment to and vote against it. Well, I don't think the media can tell people to vote against it, but they can sure report what the county commission is saying. And they can report and what they you can just sure say. they report what I'm saying. Right. You know, and, uh, and you see Baby Dog is sitting here, she would be with me forever, but as soon as there's food in the <laughs> 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 But... But uh, listen, it takes it takes a lot of courage for these great people, you know, whether it be Greg, you know, Dave, Linda, all the people here, Billy, you know, all these people have been lifelong friends of mine. I mean, for God's sake, living so many of y'all the same. The problem is really simple. We didn't know, did we? And really and truly, we got way behind and the only way we're going to get across the finish line in the right way is now y'all are the disciples and you've got to go do something you've got to go get your in-laws and outlaws and cousins and everybody else to the poll and they got to vote because if this passes then the only thing I'd say to you is just this this has been tough I mean going around everywhere sitting on this stool, absolutely just running yourself blue and ragged and everything else, sure, it's been really tough. It's what I felt like that I needed to do and had to do. You see, I really am serious about what I've said about the good Lord, but I believe he's made me Jim Justice for a reason. And he made every one of you who you are for a reason. Now, and I believe if I'd have just sat on my butt and not come out here and done this and everything, and I would have just danced all the way to the bank because that's what I would have been doing. Then I believe he looks at me and says, I'm not happy with you. And that's the end of the story with me. So I'm here. But I will tell you this. If this blows up and I'm here, 
I'll see you in Walmart. I'll probably be gone as your governor. But I'll see you. And when I see you, I'll look right at you and say, I told you so. Because this is bad stuff. Now, the other thing is this, you got to always remember, we're, it's not that we're against the companies. That's the last thing we're against. But for God's sakes, a living. You know, the companies need to be with us. The companies need, need to be with the communities, and they need to be with us. Maybe they'll back off. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've got to back off. That's enough. That's a deep total enough. Lord have mercy. So anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. Appreciate God you bless you all for Thank all you, you do every day. And I mean, just keep doing great stuff. You, this is a community. I mean, Lord have mercy. I owe my life to Raleigh County and to Beckley, West Virginia and everything. I mean, that's all there's to it. You're really, really good. You know, like I said, all of you are still just as young looking and beautiful as you can possibly be. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Even her. <laughs> 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 oh Lord, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Sue has a, I mean, Bert has a wonderful wife. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, we have Raleigh County Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Price here, and of course they're the ones that's going to fill the block if this thing does pass for Raleigh County. So, Mr. Price, you have anything that you would like to say to the governor? Well, I just appreciate his time coming to Raleigh County and making sure that the citizens are aware of how this will impact not only schools, but our community and local control. Uh, one of the things that uh, we made sure that all of our staff was very informed about the impact this could have on uh, schools and uh, the county in general. Um, you know, when I said this to them, when we run an excess levy every five years, we have to have our plan in place so the voters know exactly where every dime's going, where it's coming from, and how it's spent for the next five years. You don't see that in these amendments, the, the exact plan. So that's how I kind of compared it to that. So I appreciate your time. appreciate you making sure that everyone's informed about this and how it will impact our uh, future and our children. Uh, thank you so much. He's right. He's right. You know, I mean, I mean this, is a, this is the silliest thing you've ever seen. Get over here. Don't leave me Get over here. Get in your little bed. <laughs> Anyone else have any questions for the governor? Just, just remember just this. And this, 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 this is where, yeah, this is where you can have a voice to have an impact on the world. You think what's going on in D.C., and you see what's going on there, and you're thinking, my God, Lord, it's just so bad, it's off the chart. And think what's going on here. I mean, what's going on here, just just like your superintendent just said, there's no plan on how you're going to replace this revenue. There's no plan other than to say the surpluses are going to last forever. I mean, give me a blooming break. So let's just spend it all right now. And then hope they last forever, you know. Now, on top of that, you got exactly just this. You've got politicians that just, they don't even know you exist. And they want something for them. Well, it's bad. And it's bad in D.C. It's bad in Charleston. Now, you've got a ton of great, great, great delegates and senators. The Senate, when he, they, the leadership in the Senate, Refuse to let them even vote. But you've got a ton of really good people that are your delegates and your legislature. She's not ground. She's talking to you. She, that's what she does. She'll just gurgle. Okay. But all those people, really and truly, they're scared to, to speak now. Let me tell you the last thing, my last thing. Robert Carnes, who's a senator, and Robert is a little out there on the edge to, from time to time, you know. But Robert decided he had voted for this, but he said, "Listen, I've I've been I was wrong. The governor's right. You know what they did to him? They took his office, they put him in a closet, and now they're taking all of his committee assignments away from 
The others are scared to death. You speak. You're the ones that elect them. You speak. Let them hear you. I think really two of this thing's going to go down. I can't guarantee that at all. But absolutely, I hope and pray it goes down big. Because then they'll really understand who's running the show. You're running the show. Not me or not them. This is all about you. And that's how America was founded and that's how it should be. All right, we're gone. Thank y'all so much. God bless each and every one of you. Baby. Yeah, this is this is one of my good friends here.